Once we've decided that surgery is the right treatment for you, then the next decision is to decide which form of surgery is the best treatment, whether it's open or robot-assisted laparoscopic surgery. To make this decision, we often use many, many different factors, obviously the type of tumour that you've got, the need of quick recovery, your body habitus, your obesity, previous surgery, and so all these factors come into play. So the ideal patient for robotic surgery is patients who have not overly aggressive cancers, we call those low-grade and intermediate-grade cancers, patients who wish to shorten their recovery and shorten their time in hospital, patients who want to minimise their chance of blood loss, but also patients who are particularly focused on quality of life issues such as early urinary control and sexual potency, particularly with early cancers of the prostate. The other ideal group of people are people who are obese and people who have had previous laparoscopic hernia treatments because this is much more easily dealt with with the laparoscopic robotic assisted technique than with the open technique. On the other hand, patients who have very extensive aggressive cancers are probably still best treated with the open technique and also people who have had many, many previous operations making laparoscopic access difficult are probably better treated with the open technique. In my experience, with over 3,000 open radical prostatectomies and over 500 robot-assisted radical prostatectomies, I find that choosing the right treatment for the right patient in this situation is critical. People are very, very happy with the speed of recovery with the robotic surgery. And I think that's a very, very good thing as long as we get an equal or even better trifecta rate. I've observed in patients with low and intermediate risk cancers that this is indeed the case.